Summon, so we're gonna summon the X out of the garage. Straight back. We have a pole right here though. So that she does. It's always scary by this pole. Huh, that's what she stopped. Quick little video. Quick little video of day in life of Tesla Tim. So uh, um, we only have the eight foot charge cable and we took uh, Megatron out um, to go to the gym this morning and I'm gonna leave it out so the wife can take it to take my daughter um, to school and do some appointments there. So um, Phoenix usually sits in this spot. I had to back Phoenix out and put her over here so she can charge. Um, not really a big deal. But that's basically what we got to do on a daily basis. I'm thinking about getting that 24 foot wall charger. Um, I know I think it's 10% um, off right now. So I have right now the NEMA 1450 charger and uh, we'd have to actually unwire that and wire in the wall charger. But the wall charger comes in a 24 foot variant. And um, I'm not sure if the 24 foot is cheaper or if the eight foot and the 24 foot are the same price now. I gotta check the site. So so what we gotta do is normally when we come back, I'll usually move up over the, the uh, Phoenix and let her charge and bring Megatron in here. But right now, Megatron, I had to back her up using Summon. So if you guys haven't used Summon yet, um, it's kind of a neat thing. It allows you to back up or bring in your vehicle um, in tight parking spaces. You can back it out of your garage and it'll automatically open your garage. I have a video which I'll, I'll link on here. It'll pop up here any minute. And then uh, you can also just kind of move your car and freak people out. So what you do is you hold the top of your key fob until the lights start flashing on your car. So now they're flashing. So now you just press the direction you want it to go. This is forward, this is backward. So let's hit forward. I want to bring Megatron a little closer to me. Because she's kind of over that sidewalk area and I got a bunch of kids out right now, so. And then when you're done, you just click the top of the key fob and then she'll stop, just like that. Pretty neat, right? Now you might come across, when you get your new Tesla, if um, or if you take your your Tesla to a service center, they will um, actually turn this feature off, um, and they'll what they'll do is they'll it's called continuous key press. Let's go in Megatron. I'll show you real quick. So if you go into settings here, oops, yeah, yeah it's, it's controls, and then settings. There's an area here for driver assistance, and they have summon, auto park summon beta. Obviously that needs to be on, which ours is on. If you go into customize, they actually turn this on. Require continuous key press. They, they put it on yes. And what that means is that you actually, um, you won't be able to do what I just did. See, I held the button down, then I was able to kind of like uh, move it forward and backwards. Um, you actually, if this is on, you can't do that. It won't allow you to do that that way. You have to actually use the app, and then on the app you have to kind of hold it forward as long as you want it to go forward, and hold it backwards as long as you want it to go backwards. Uh, this might be a little bit more unsafe, but I think it works really good. You have the key fob, you just kind of hit it, and it goes forward and it goes backwards. So, all right, that's a little day in the life of Tesla Tim. So when we go to charge right now, because I got the eight foot charger. I gotta move vehicles around, which isn't a huge deal because I get to drive a Tesla either way, right? So. All right, guys, thanks for watching our video. Day in the life of Tesla Tim. Um, charging, not supercharging, just home charging. We have to move each vehicle side to side. And uh, so thank you for watching. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel. 
And if you want to support us, go to patreon.com forward slash Tesla Tim and uh, click on support and you'll get behind the scenes content. So uh, have a good day. We'll see you. Peace.